coach of the year in the introductions, the women's coach from Northwestern University, Coach Jim Tim. You know, it is such a uh, tough act to follow with that kind of group we had, those awards and wonderful speeches. Um, so you will be pleased to know that I did go out of my way and consult that great speech writer, Coach Jack Nelson, to help me prepare. <laughs> so you may want to hit the bar in order to survive the rest of the evening. If you weren't here last year, I apologize. <laughs> um, I was talking with uh, my sister at one point this summer, uh, one of the coaches out in the desert right now. She was telling me a little bit of a story about um, going out to the Los Angeles Grand Prix this summer. Um, and by the way, what happened to Janet Evans' Invitational? Did uh, Janet do something to piss off the city of LA or something like that? <laughs> the name off the, the, what's up with that? But anyway, she uh, she was telling me a story about being out there during the meet, and at, at the um, end of the session, she was surprised to see something. She would. She was there like for one of the last heats and, and uh, looked over and saw Coach Dave Sale walking around picking up trash and putting in the bag and, and uh, clean up the pool deck and I just assumed she was telling me, you know, some lie or something. I didn't really believe her. Um, she is a devil nowadays, right? So she, uh... and then when I got out to Nationals at, um, in Irvine and I was there at the end of one of the late nights. Uh, was just hanging out as people were finishing warming down. And I looked over and there's Coach Salo digging through the bleachers, bending down, picking up the trash, putting in the bag, bending down, picking up the trash, and putting up the bag. And I thought to myself, you know, that's going to be Hall of Fame Coach Dave Salo here come the end of this summer or banquet. I just didn't think that was appropriate that a Hall of Fame coach should be bending over and picking up the trash throughout the deck and cleaning up after everybody at national. So I talked with a couple of the board members and uh, we decided to pitch in money a little bit. And uh, coach, we came up with this fancy <laughs> trash pickup for you. So that way when you're walking around the pool deck in the future, people could say, there's Hall of Famer, Coach Dave Salo, <laughs> picking up trash with class. <laughs> Coach, I'll keep this. Why don't you come on up right now? States that has the greatest impact on international swimming from athletes from our country. And the first candidate was uh, Coach, well, it may not be the right order, but Coach Chuck Batchelor from the wonderful club of Merching Powerhouse and Bluefish with athlete Elizabeth Beisel, who picked up two gold medals um, at the Summer Pan Pack Championships. Let's hear it for Coach Chuck Batchelor. job coach you've been doing uh, in club swimming up in, in uh, New England area. The second coach nominee was Coach Bob Bowman, North Baltimore Aquatic Club. <laughs> coach Bowman, of course, had Ray Michael Phelps, five gold medals at the Packs, five number one uh, world rankings. Athlete uh, Allison Schmidt, two gold medals herself, and Elizabeth Pelton. We had a silver and two hundred back, Coach Bob Bowman. Our third candidate from California, Coach Dave Durden, 
Dave coached the great sprinter emerging superstar Nathan Adrian, five gold medals, uh, one number one world ranking. Coach Dave, third. The next nominee, the women's coach at the same school, Coach Terry McKeever, University of California. Terry had success again this summer. Their superstar, of course, Natalie Coughlin, who had three gold medals, two number one rankings. Dana Balmer, four gold medals, three number one world rankings. And Caitlin Leverins, some fantastic IM medals herself, who made tremendous drops this summer to being one of the world's best IMers. Coach Terry McKeever. The next nominee, our birthday boy, Coach Dave Salo, University of Southern California. What tremendous performances by his athletes this summer. The great Rebecca Sony, three gold medals, three number one world rankings. Jessica Hardy, four gold medals, three number one world, world rankings. Fantastic performances. Coach Dave Salem. <laughs> Two more nominees. The next one, coach at the University of Florida, Coach Greg Troy. <laughs> coach Troy, of course, developed many consider to be the finest performance of any swimmer in the world this year. Ryan Lochte, seven gold medals, six number one world rankings. Definitely set the world on fire and set a, a standard um, that obviously a lot of people are hoping to uh, challenge in the future. As well as Teresa Crippen, who along with Coach Schulberg, uh, had a silver medal in the 200 butterfly, Coach Greg Troy. Final candidate, we've heard enough about him tonight from Poets and Aquatics, Coach John Urbanchek. <laughs> Thought you'd retired, Coach. <laughs> Thank goodness you have. Kate Siegler, who's gold medals in the 800 freestyle as well as silver medal. Tyler Clary, three silver medals at the Pan Pac Championships. And the open water gold medals in Chip Peterson. Coach John Urbanchik. In the winter this year, the athlete that set the world on fire, many consider to be again the greatest swimmer at the moment in the world. And what a fantastic job he's done in developing him as well as other Great athletes, first time NCAA championship team with his squad to win this year. From the University of Florida, Coach Greg Troy. Richard Schulberg was tremendous with, uh, with Teresa's uh, 
have a chance to support. It's like everyone else who is up here this evening. Uh, there, there's no one person responsible for it. It's, uh, there's a tremendous number of people in the room that I've um, copied, mimicked, and don't do too much original like that. Take things that all the, the great people have done. Uh, I would offer all of you, even the, the, the young coaches here, that it's, it's a year's of work. Um, sometimes you're lucky enough to get blessed with an athlete like a Ryan Lock and Teresa Um I had recently a story, though, that uh, had no political connotation, but I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, young man used to swim for me, a guy named Ray Burgess, coincidentally, was a good swimmer, tremendous swimmer. He was an American record holder in the individual medleys. And they were running a piece of his hometown newspaper in Jacksonville. I know Murray, he swam in North Baltimore too, but uh, he calls Jacksonville home now. And uh, they called me and sent me a copy of the newspaper article. He's a major in the Marines now, who was stationed in Frankfurt, Germany at the time. And they were interviewing him and asking him about all his accomplishments as an athlete. He was a silver medalist, American record holder, and he over the year. And his uh, comment was that those things were all really important, but the uh, most proudest thing he was was he'd done two tours in Iraq and he'd come back with all of his men. I think that, um, I say that not for political connotation or anything, but I think that we all need to remember what great people are sports produce and what a tremendous tribute all the coaches who've won. And if you're lucky enough to get a great one, then once in a while you get an award. But you all get awards because you're contributing a lot to society and they just really great people. Thanks so much.